Vice President Constantino Chiwanga has married his longtime lover Minnie Yathabo Baloy, the presidency announced on Wednesday. The two lovebirds exchanged their vows during a private ceremony attended by family and a few friends last Sunday, Simliv understands. The 46-year-old Baloy, a colonel in the Zimbabwe National Army, runs a high-end boutique in Harare. She is now a breath away from becoming Zimbabwe's first lady. In a statement, Cabinet Secretary Ms. Hexabanda said, President Nangagwa wishes to inform the nation that Vice President Constantino Chiwanga has tied the knot with his partner Colonel Mini Yathabo Baloy. Sabanda said Nangagwa and his wife Exilia wish the couple a lifelong partnership full of love and affection. The two were romantically involved while Chiwanga, 65, was legally married to his second wife, the former model Mary Mubewa. Chiwanga's divorce from Mubewa, the mother of three of his children, went through at the Harare High Court in February this year, clearing the way for him to marry Baloy. Baloy, the daughter of a headmaster, grew up in Sabhabha in Filibusi, Matabelan South, and attended nearby Kusalani Mission and Jay-Z Moyo High School for her secondary education. Friends said she was a top 10 in class, but had a difficult upbringing. She grew up with a stepmother and lacked a lot of comfort items at school. It affected her. She persevered though, and her application to schoolwork helped her to make a life out of a difficult situation, one told Sim Liv. Described as quiet and reserved, Baloy played netball at school and sang in the scripture union. She was not a religious fundamentalist, but she connected with God, another friend said. For the most part, she was part of the team, she associated with everyone. She joined the army after high school in 1996 and then pursued further studies, first earning a degree in Chinese and two master's degrees, one in business administration and a second in international relations. In 2019, after Chuenga was airlifted to China for lengthy treatment, Beloy, who is not believed to have any children, was one of a handful of people allowed to visit him, this after he banished Mubewa who would later be charged over an alleged plot to kill him in a South African hospital. In 2020, when Simliv broke the story of Puega's romance with Boloi, military sources insisted she was not a distinguished soldier after she was rapidly promoted to the rank of colonel, apparently helped by her relationship with Puenga, who was the Zimbabwe Defense Forces commander until November 2017 when he led a military coup that ousted strongman Robert Mugabe. Chiwenga has been condemned for his treatment of ex-wife Mubewa, to whom he was customarily married in 2011, after he divorced his first wife, Jocelyn. The divorce from Jocelyn brought Chiwenga's skeletons tumbling out of the closet. Almost literally, after she claimed he kept a coffin in their home, and also had some voodoo paraphernalia like animal tails and beads locked away in a safe. Accusing Chiwanga of being abusive, Jocelyn added, he doesn't know how to say I'm sorry or please. Mubewa divorced her footballer husband, Shingei Kondera, to be with Chiwanga. Chiwanga, after returning from treatment in China, caused Mubewa's arrest on December 14, 2019, after accusing her of trying to kill him in a South African hospital in July that year. She was also charged with money laundering, fraud and the assault of their former child minder. In April, Mubewa was convicted of fraud and false representation after Chiwenga took the witness stand to accuse her of attempting to upgrade their marriage from a customary union to a civil marriage without his knowledge as he lay sick. Mubewa who was diagnosed with acute lymphedema which has caused large open wounds on both forearms, has not seen her minor children with Chiwenga in over two years. She accuses Chiwenga of manipulating the legal process to block her many court applications to receive urgent treatment in South Africa. Boloi has been described as brave online for getting hitched to Chiwenga, whose vindictiveness and apparent emotional detachment haunted his previous two marriages.